viewers, welcome back. Today I got here a Can Am Outlander XMR 850, and we're gonna be installing the snorkel kit, so stay tuned. Here's the part number for the kit I will be using. I'll put the part number in the description below. To get the instructions, I'm gonna to go to Google, type in BRP instructions, installation instructions right at the top. I'm gonna to put my part number in. ATV snorkel kit, and here are the instructions. They are pretty much useless, but I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, and I will need these templates. So print those out. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the gauge cover and the rad cover. Now I'm going to cut out the C1 template and get ready to tape it onto the machine. Now that I got my template cut out, I've gone ahead and taped it onto the machine. Notice I got it lined up with this hole here, the hole here, and the hole here. Make sure you don't tape around the center, tape around the outsides, because we're going to be cutting out this piece right here. Make sure there's nothing in behind that's going to get damaged while you're cutting. Now I'm going to take a sharp knife and cut out that section. Okay, now I got my hole cut out so that our new pipe can come through for the air intake. The next thing I'm gonna do is remove the original air intake here by releasing this hose clamp right here. Now I can install the new air intake tube provided in the kit. I'm just going to use the clamp I just took off. Make sure the new tube is fully seated and the notch is properly aligned. And then tighten up the clamp. If you're finding this one useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that bell, and smash that thumbs up. It really goes a long way to helping out the channel. Next, I'm going to have to drill out these rivets here so that I can install the new air intake horn. If you're using a new cover or your cover does not have these extra covers, you will not need to worry about this step. Once you have the rivets drilled out, flip it over and pry off these little clips there and there on both sides.
I've gone ahead and cut out my next template and taped it on to the gauge cluster. I used the rivet holes for guides to position the template. Now I can cut out the middle section here. If your cover doesn't have holes on the side, then you'll need to use the other two templates and cut a center hole and a left hole. You can check the instructions for placement of the templates. Next, I'm going to take a 3 16th drill bit and drill these holes on the horn just a little bit bigger. I'm now going to align the horn with my front console and mark the holes with a paint pen. I can now use a 3 16th drill bit and drill out those holes. Now I'm going to use a rivet with a washer on the back side in these rear holes on both sides. Next, I'm going to push down on the front and then drill out my front holes. Now I can rivet the front holes with a washer on the back side, just like I did on the rear ones. Now you just need to snap the cluster back into place and then we can reinstall the cover back down onto the machine making sure to install our new air tube here through the center hole that we cut in the cover. Now reinstall the rad cover. The last thing I'm going to do is install the stickers. If you haven't done so already, make sure you click that subscribe button or click up here to check out the next video. This has been my snorkel install on the Can-Am Outlander XMR 850. That's safe.